Now, so far, we've only been handling numbers, but what about the strings? Obviously, those are a way we can kind of work things. And one of the things you saw I was kind of explaining in earlier videos is that we can use these quotes, these qu quotation marks, to indicate that I'm, I'm talking about uh, words. Well, let's say, for example, I don't have that for a second. Let's say, for example, I just do capital A. I get an error. A is not defined. Well, what happens if I do something like a one, two, three, not real street? I'm talking about an address. You know, I'm, I'm, it, okay. I still get an error. It freaks out. It's like, no, that's not valid syntax. So how can I just take these numbers, these letters, symbols? I see a period. There. How can I take all of that and just literally say, I just want you to represent that text? I use the quotation marks. I can now come in and I can say one, two, three, not real street. Sorry. And if I close the quotation, that's you know where I got that error before. If I close out of that quotation, now all of a sudden, ah, I get a nice luxurious thing. And you notice all of a sudden Python is it's actually only using one quote. Well, that's actually another way we can actually represent text, not real street street and the reason why we actually get these two different options is what happens if I want to use a quote inside of my my string let's say for example I wanted to uh, you know represent someone saying something it's a, kind of the same approach that you see in fiction you know all right well uh, we can think about it in this sense your a wizard, Harry. So what I've done all of a sudden, I know, uh, is I've got an apostrophe inside of my 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 quote, and so I don't want it to kind of freak out. I, if I had done it the opposite direction, you can already see this is not going to end well due to the kind of color correction already in there. So all of a sudden, if I can put two quotes in. Well, what happens if I want to put two quotes inside of a string? I can do the exact same thing. I can say, let's start with a single quote. And let's say Hagrid stood over Harry and said, You are a wizard, Harry. I can close out of it, and then I can give it a single quote. Now you notice I said you are a wizard because I, 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 I was trying to avoid all of a sudden this kind of last little bit. So how can I kind of do that? How can I, I work with both uh, our, our quotations and our apostrophes? Well, in order to do this, we basically do something super fancy, super technical, super you know, out of this world. We do three quotes. Now I can also do three apostrophes. Does not actually matter. It's the indication that, oh, I'm, I want to use both quotes and uh, apostrophes inside of my string. So only when I see three of them is it the end of my string. So now I can kind of write out my full sentence of Hagrid stood over Harry and said. Now I can throw the quotation in because I'm inside of my string, your, and you notice I can put the apostrophe in it. It's not freaking out. It's because it needs to see three of them at the same time. A wizard, Harry, and I can end the quote. And then if I want to end the string, one, two, three. 